We are joined by incoming president-elect of APA, Dr. Anita Everett. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And congratulations. Thank you. All right, so tell us, uh, what are the biggest challenges in the psychiatry community right now? Um, so we have many challenges, of course, but I think uh, one of the biggest ones or broad uh, challenges has to do with access to care and working to uh, assure that we have uh, the individuals in uh, America who need help uh, are able to access quality uh, mental health treatment and behavioral health treatment. And what is APA doing to address those challenges? So we're working uh, with membership and strengthening our membership, both at the young end of things or with people in their early in their careers and medical students uh, to grow an interest in psychiatry as a profession. So we create a pipeline, so to speak, so that we can uh, meet the demand in America. And also working on retaining uh, senior members and doing what we can to preserve careers, uh, prevent burnout, and retain members in active practice so they can help us serve the need of Americans. And where do you see that the association is doing well, and where do you see that improvements need to be made? Uh, so right now, we're doing really uh, well in, um, in training and education of our members and creating a number of options that help to make the organization a, a professional home for individuals throughout their, their lifetime, early career on through uh, to, to senior uh, career portions. Um, and I think we need to continue to work to strengthen that. It feels like we're just at the beginning of, of, strength, of building uh, a whole pipeline to help uh, create more psychiatrists. And what do you see for the future of APA? Um, well, great things. Uh, so I think that we've got you know, a relatively new leadership, a new sort of uh, face on the APA, and I really see uh, we're becoming more sort of integrated into the broader health care, broader health care dialogues and accountable care structures and uh, a bright future for psychiatrists, particularly who are interested in working with individuals as well as populations. Well, Dr. Anita Everett, thank you so much. Congratulations and best of luck to you next year. Thank you.